Hello everyone, and welcome to Gaming Zone, where we're playing Paper Mario, the original. Let's continue our like, save, shall we? We have just gotten Combario to join our party. There it is. Adbonk and Tattle. Got. Oh, let's equip power jump. I think that's about it. Dad, did you hear? I'm going out adventuring with Mario. I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear, just wait. Do your best, son. You grown to strong boy. I know you've been great. I forgot what voice I did for them last time. It's a good thing you spent so much time training, huh? Now do your old golden papa proud. There we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. Calm mind is the wisest. You hear that, son? Oh, what's up in here? Beware of Goombas. Oh! Why did you not tell me about this, Gumbario? Hey, Mario. Drink the battle. You can change the order we attack it in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep in mind, okay? Okay. Hadbonk and Tattle. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait. I'm one of them. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. Okay, and now I see the health bar down there. Now, the health bar should be appearing every time you face a Goomba now. Let's see. Yep. There it is. Now let's say, try your head bump. Simple. Okay. And there we go. Just got to keep doing this. And, and seeing that I switched out, yet Mario went back to being front. Yeah, because of this. Kill your brethren. Okay, we got some recovery. Paragumba. Let's defeat this Goomba. And Tattle. I love to use Tattle on every enemy. So, be prepared. This is Paragumba. Obviously, Paragumbas are Goombas with wings. Max HP is 2, attack power 1, defense 0. You can hit them with the hammer while they are born. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become just ordinary Goombas. How the mighty have fallen. I could use power jump. You know what? Next time I'll use a power jump just so I won't be at max flowers in case I, an enemy drops a flower. And they get three star points. Okay, let's keep going. I almost jumped. I'm honestly surprised for myself that I did not jump. This is a spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spike on their head. Like, duh. Max HP 2, attack power 2, even 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spike. 
or you get hurt or even paralyzed. Ooh, paralyzed. I don't recall what that that being a thing. Okay, let's get re rid of this guy. And I get why it's not too uh spike Goombas because then Goombario couldn't really do anything here. There we go. What's this? A close call match. When Martin is in danger, enemies sometimes fail. Now, did you know that there are good Goombas and bad Goombas? A bad Goomba will try to pick a fight with us a second to spot us. Oh. Oh, I found the shortcut for those. Or rather, I should have known. Yeah, I don't know a shortcut for this. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with the light. Well, thank you for the mushroom. Oh, that's a lot of Paragoombas. You're trying to get you hurt so that you use the mushroom. But I'll use a power jump here. Ooh, I, a three. And I like that little fact that it had. Like an after image. That gave some nice points. No, oh, thank you for the health. Oh. And this is free. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move. Oh, a green, uh, not a green, a red and blue. Oh, goo. Oh, my God. <clears throat> a red and blue Goombas. Ahem, you're Mario. I knew you can't go past. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I never heard of the Goomba King. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. Okay. Is this like a boss fight? Time to power jump. And how? This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 6, attack 1, defense 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Oh, maybe I should have targeted Red Goomba. Mario, how do you like some of this? Oh, just one more power jump and you're out of the picture. Blue, Blue Goomba, ah, my little brother. You pay for that, Mario. Was he giving me the middle finger? This is Red Goomba. He's the elder of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense 0. The Goomba King ordered him to strive to stop you. He can take this guy, no problem. He has just a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Just a little? He, had tr he has triple the amount. Actually, his brother has a triple amount. He has a little more. No, I just gotta keep going. No need to use the mushroom. And hopefully I can go back to heal up on that box. Now, is he going to miss me because of close call? Let's find out. He didn't miss. 
I mean, that's what I expected, but I kind of was hoping to see the close call in action. 20 star points. Yeah, I, I, I'll let you go for now. Oh, maybe that's a tear. Makes more sense than a middle finger when he doesn't even have hands. Oh. Look, Mario, there's a save block. Might be a good idea to use it, don't you think? Okay, but... Oh. That's how you use it. Honestly, I thought it was harder than the seam. Need a mushroom to regain your energy. Oh. But that's not a mushroom. You lied to me, poster. Bunk. And bunk. Just gotta get all the XP again. I can. Now, if this is like the Thousand Year Door, that means I'll be able to choose between HP, Flower Power, and Badge. Come with King's Fortress ahead. Right now, it feels like some HP. Because I don't really know what badges we'll find. Oh, did you want to run to the Goomba King? King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up. Oh, okay. They opened the door for them. Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. I can't really see what's this building on the way. What's shaking? Something really big, I imagine. Oh, there's a Kumba King. So, my dear, it's true. You made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, did as far as you ever got. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, do see to it that you advance no further down. You hear that, Mario? No further. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Uh, uh, yeah, you, you're scared, though, right? You want to say you're sorry? Wow, the King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready for to meet my ref, Mario. You better be. I don't know why I rolled my R's there. Oh, the other chair coming with him? Beat him up, King Gumba. We got your back. Living in, live in to be. Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Gumba Bros first, don't you think? It must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Oh, I hope so. Okay, two health each. Ow. That's three damage in one turn. Maybe now would be a good moment, or a good battle to use the mushroom in. That's fine. Power jump. A saddle on the king. This is a Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful too. HP 10, attack 1, defense 0. He's the boss of Red Goomba Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger, right? Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I like to be a bit bigger too. They think we're mushrooms?
Ooh, nice close call. I'm gonna try a hammer to see if that thing drops. Ooh, a double close call. Then again, might be a little late for that. Look at all the XP. And now we'll level up. Now, normally I'd raise badges, but I have no idea what badges we'll be getting. So for now, I guess HP, and then we might work on badges after. What? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool. Victory. Oh. Sorry. I thought we were still in the cutscene. Good thing I decided to do that. I just saw the tree over there and thought of that. Aha. I definitely knew that. Ah, Mario. Good fight and all that, but I must warn you, however, if you happen to fight a strange fleet somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, do you understand? Yeah, here's the problem. I already did. You what? You already pressed it. Uh oh. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's falling apart. Oh, there goes the one. Uh huh. And there's the bridge. Oh, that was him. Look, there's the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Don't mind me. Can I? I can. Just gotta inspect every element. Oh, she saw everything. Now, is she gonna report to King Bowser? Save and continue. So, was this like the prologue? Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. It's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King even thinking? I used a star rod to make him a king because he begged me for it. And Mario whips him so easily. <laughs> what a wimp. Ugh, Kimmy Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, dear villainess, try to be calm. Goomba King is small town. I had a feeling he'd fail. He's a Goomba, after all. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the star rod, you're definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kimmy Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario the power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Is that one of the Koopa Bros fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? 
Couldn't they just put all seven in the same place and put all the guards together? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. I guess that's Koopa Bros. Hi ya! Oh! Okay! Ninja Squad, the tur Mutant Ninja Turtle. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh? Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Give me Koopa. Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic. And even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw. Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wumpala. We're nothing like him. See, what we got going on is the power of teamwork and friendship. Together, we can put the heart of Mario in second flat. Excellent, that's a spirit. Stay like you, my bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, buddy? Ooh, ooh. That this is ooh. How'd you like that, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really. I'm and I'm not easy, easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if he finish him with that attack. We'll take him picking Bowser. By the way, my couple bros about to capture Sar Spears that locked up in the fortress. Who's guarding it right now? Uh Nobody, sir. You know, we're here and not there, so... You idiots. Use your heads. Get back to the fortress and guard that star sphere. Oh, good thing he realized that. Would have been very awkward. Mario just reaching the fortress and nobody there, so he just takes the star sphere. I mean, it would be good for me, but I don't think it would be good for them. Oh, what's this? Got sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. I did not recognize that as a sheep, but I guess so. Drop it. What do we have up here? A chest. Hammer throw badge. Hits one end with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. Okay. Um, requires two. I'm gonna keep close call. F yeah, I'm gonna keep close call for now because with no way stopping the damage being taken, that close call is the best we got. Double town. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town's in an uproar. The first is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save your highness. Uh, I'll, I'll try. No promise, though. Uh, what do we have? Oh. Oh wow, there's a Oh busy busy. The room doesn't get pitied up when my darling's at home. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking the ground, the houses, even I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I just like to forget it ever happened. Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm gonna save her. But mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? My dad worked at the castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? 
Yeah, you don't really have any fault in that. I'm not sure why you got scolded for it. Are you two lovebirds? The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in the town was suffering and yet my heart cared for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is a shame, my love, if it cares for you and none other. We are both wicked toads. Okay, good for you two. Oh no, doom, danger, Mrs. Beach Castle has flown away up into the sky. No castle, horrors, only a hole remain. Our beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word, outrage, danger, danger. What do we have in here? Our salutations, your mind, yeah, I do not. Of oh, course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure to meet you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sort of interesting facts. Whenever you visit me, I'd be very happy to share all my knowledge with you. Okay. And what knowledge do you have? Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Tell the hell about this. So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where stars make their home. In star haven, there is a treasure called Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called star spirits. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits get in the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why when we make a wish to the next sky and it comes through, it's all thanks to the star spirit and the star rod. If there is anything else you wish to know, feel free to ask me. Okay, Mr. Randall tidbit of information. Where does this take us? Oh! Hello, Luigi. I wonder what, what my brother Mario is doing here right now. Speak up for the devil, Mario! It's you, good to see you. And you are right. After all, that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I got in outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Hmm? Oh, and who are you, my mysterious friend? I'm Kumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. I'm not really the player too. The someone has to look after this house, so I can leave. Oh wow. Take care of Mario, okay? So normally one of us stay home. Oh, I thought something would drop. Thought we could get something in here. Here's a box where letters are dressed tomorrow ago. Sympathy. Your peak strength. Do you still want to go to bed? Nope. I wonder what this does. Okay, nothing here. Bye bye, Luigi. Nope. Oh, it's a Zadim shop. 
Sprite Jar. Makes scary spirits appear and chase some enemies away. Sleep your sheep. Power block. Flip show enemy and flip extra damage on all enemies. Fire flower. Honey shrimp. Honey syrup and mushroom. Yeah, for right now I'm good. Hey Mario, did you know you can carry up to 10 items? When you can't get any more items, it's a good idea to go to the shop like this and ask them to hold the item for you. You can't even claim the items at any other shop. Really convenient, right? Oh? <laughs> you don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree uh, shows how strong you are. <laughs> oh, I haven't. I thought of the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toe. Oh, Mario, I haven't gone back to your house yet. Luigi was wondering how you were doing. Oh yeah, I talked to him. You can go home through that pipe in the front of the main game over there. You can enter the pipe standing on the edge and touching down the ground control stick. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? Let me just see what we have over here. Oh, is this the three traveling sisters? We just can't flew away. How could this such a thing happen? What will become of Princess Peach and the others who are in the castle? I'm scared. I'm scared. I release a tea. I'm so scared. Okay. So what's up with you two? Above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We're here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's close. Not just right, saying the master returns soon. We'll train again soon. Okay, so they're just blocking me while their master's gone, huh? Hey, Mario, the world is during Medion, Medion Shooting Star Summit. You never been? Just go through that blue gate there and bear right in Peach Castle. Whoops, I forgot. Peach Castle is, well, gone. Just straight to the right, okay? The top of the tower castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seems rain would. Not really sure how that works. As a result, we can get to the southern part of town. The train station, the port. Many important things like so. Not being able to get there is great inconvenience to at least to me and probably to everyone. Oh, okay. Hill Town News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach Castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are known, and where the castle once stood is now. A gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow up reports on this one. Hey, Mr. You're a customer, are you? It's preparing to open the shop since I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Dota. I'm still setting up though, so I want to see you back in the year when we open. All right. Oh, have fun, you two. Water, dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bobos have the only known seeds. This is what a bobo looks like, by the way. If you find a bobo, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovely. Building in the spinning roof as Marlin's house. Marilyn's house is weird. He also happens to be as stubborn as a mule and rarely comes out. 
as weird as he is, you know, his talent's no joke. He can read the stars. He even predicted that you'd come back safe and sound. And he didn't even come talk to me. You see that blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign, in case you've never seen one before. You can find out what's where in Telltale by checking on the signs. What can I, I tell you that? What am I telling you that this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all signs you see. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go to the post office. Oh, of course, there are paratroopers. Yes, hello. This is the post office. You can read any letter that arrives for you or for your party members. Please stop by it now and then go check and see if you receive any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Gamario. Didn't know you sent me a letter, Gamario. Oh no, it's from red and blue to Gamario. Got it. There you go. Gamario. You are a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you show us that being good is as important as being strong. When you come back, do you think maybe we could be... <clears throat> for, for friends? Please say yes. It was embarrassing enough just to say that on it. We'll be waiting. Red and blue goomba. We keep the letters for you. Come on, by any time you want to read some letters. Okay, what about you? Greetings, the name is Paracary. I deliver letters. Uh huh. What's up with you guys? It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. Hey, that was is a weird obstacle. Really? You seem to be in fine shape. Are you sure you want to take a nap? Really? You seem to be in fine shape. Are you sure? You want to take a nap? Nope. Please come again. Come again. I was missing the door. Look at Minty. Always with the flowers. She's uh, as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me so happy. Hmm. Oh, well, let's visit Merlin. Oh, never mind. Can we go through the blue gate? Oh, we can. I can't believe that Princess Peach Castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet let me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Everyone's a hostage. Oh, that was a star. Ah, stars are falling. Shooting star summit. Makes sense. Why well, there's some more stars falling here.
I keep pressing those shortcuts. I gotta stop that. I feel like I can turn the camera. Let's go up. Seems like a pretty straightforward map. Okay, it needs to come from this side. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Where are the seven star spirits? Our job is to grant these wishes of good people for our home in Star Haven. Please high above the sky. I'm just going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and Fred followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the star rod, which we cared for since the beginning of time. The star rod is like Alpha beyond belief, you get me? He can print like any wish. Oh my god. But as long as we can remember, Kyle has been making wishes all the time. Like, for instance, I like to transform Mario. I want to run the speech like me. And so on. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wish. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out uh, that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems, con con he seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. So enough, though, I fear he will wish for more. And then terrible things will happen. <laughs> it's the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and used properly. We must get the star rod back from the Bowser and return it to rightful place. In order to do that, Mario, we're gonna need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all <clears throat> powerful. By making wishes with the star rod, he is a terrible to behold. Why should we? The seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven. We can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. I hope you can prevent. I thought I press. More you. We are. Yes. We nearly exhausted the power to talk to you. Although it looks like when they're beside you, there's only an illusion, like a genjutsu. We're using all our strength to communicate with you at our greatest. But if you know our strength is, well, fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places that have the most in the kingdom. Please, Mario. Please. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the star rod from Bowser and save the princess. We need... We need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope. And we will. 
Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the, the princess is going to be all right? Because re I'm really worried about her. I do think she'll be fine. Marius probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Is somebody gonna show up? Oh, yes, but not exactly who I was hoping for. Like, basically anyone but him I was hoping for. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine morning? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high, uh, high above the sky right now. Even little Mario doesn't have a chance of revealing up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants several wishes? Isn't that funny? <laughs> Imagine what's like down in, in your kingdom. Your subject must be so upset because their witnesses are being transshipped. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treated us, Koopas, over and over and over the years. If you know, if you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me. Princess, I can grant three wishes. <laughs> of course, I only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay. You watch yourself, princess. You're bad enough as travel. <laughs> oh, well, I just noticed that outfits in the back are just exact copies. Oh, please. If only somebody could help me. Is now the sisters gonna come? Huh? Oh, the little star. How cute. I like the little music. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name's Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, are you? Aren't you? How, how did you get here? I came from Star Heaven to greet your wish. Our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming, little twink. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Mauser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, you crazy woman. Sorry, that's a little too much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could do a wish like that. But even so, this is kind of up in the time limit. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something like a small star can do. But then, can you take me away from here? Everyone's my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. There's actually not a lot I can grant as a novice. Actually, I just got called out up to the skies a day ago, so I can do big wishes for right now. If it were a sm more splendid star, maybe I could have actually help out somehow. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. 
Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably come right away. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Now she's treating it as a carrier pigeon? This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please don't marry you that. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? And the music's gone with Twink. Okay. Mario, where are you? Oh, we're back here. Ow. Oh, sorry, sorry. So sorry. I'm kind of in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? I think the stars I found you. Uh, you mean take your family? How do you do? I'm Twink. Mr. Speech asked me to bring something to you. Um... Ah, yes. Here it is. Here. Take it. Got the lucky star. Starship pendant lets you use a co Did I say the caution action command? That's the lucky star from the princess speech. Now that that's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Oh, sure. I was kind of wanting to save an end for this episode, but I guess we're going to have an explanation for then. Hey, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. You behind Mario, which might help me demonstrate something. Me? The name's Kumbario, but of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Kumbario, let's begin. First, Mario, choose a jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Jump, attack. Oh, okay, now that's what he meant by action. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the caution command will appear. Right now, ju jump. Just before stumping the enemy. Press A because at this moment. Okay, now we're talking. When you see nice appear, it means you successfully use the action command. When you do, you increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Kumbario, you try that, Kumbario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Watch out. Right now, press the A just before the attack strikes you. Okay. There we go. I was missing this so much. Yes, you can su successfully use the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking my hammer. Okay, yeah, even holding it for the light up. Once you choose any which attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Blast of the suit. Uh, Alright, you successfully use the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you master how to use it properly. No, no, I'm good. You don't need to practice anymore? That's our Mario, you're a quick learner. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. Okay, that's helpful. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'd be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. Well, it can be. 
way of following me? What a foolish starry kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. Famous, you hear? I'll tell Kimmy Cooper. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. And so much more. Here I come. Oh, thank you for telling me. Okay. Now I won't fail. This is Magical Bucket. Magical but use Magical Runs. Max HP 8, Attack 3. Major attacks are no joke. You, you, you better take this guy seriously. Nice block. I feel that. I wonder if I would... Good job, Gumbario. I wonder if I would have been able to do a double jump with that. Okay, now I went way too early. Okay, there we go. Definitely need some practice with it. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as I say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to the prince's side now. I'm not strong enough to real, really help her, but at least I can tell her you okay. Okay? Oh, Mario. See you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said, word by word. I get the feeling, though, that she's kind of lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to, keep the both, to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save the princess. And there he goes. There he goes. Mac to Bowser, I guess. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business and defeat the Hunts. Okay. Now, where can we save? Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He leaves in the house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go to meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Melon to call someone over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Okay, but I just want to save. There we go. Um... Yeah, anyway, I guess that's all. Oh, nice little map. But yeah, I guess that's all for today. Quite a longer episode, but we couldn't really stop in the middle. And with that being said, see you next time. Bye!